Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney Springs and we are going to be trying the new cookie of the month at Gideon's Bakehouse and I'm so excited because I'm a little late with my monthly cookie updates but also Disney released tons of new snacks for all different occasions. Everything from Father's Day to Pride Month to the new movie Elemental and I figured I would show you some. So we're going to eat some food, do some shopping and have a beautiful Disney Springs kind of day. Anywho, let's go do this it is a beautiful day today at Disney Springs but a little bit hot out the temperatures in the high 90s and I'm not used to it I just got back from Pennsylvania I usually come out to Disney Springs the first of the month and always try the new cookie of the month at Gideon's and also any other specials that they're doing. But like I mentioned, I was in Pennsylvania visiting some family and it was amazing. We went to Knoebels, we went to Hershey Park, Shady Maple. I loved it and it's one of my favorite things to do is spend time with family. So that was really awesome. But now it's back to the cookie business. On top of hanging out at Disney Springs, we're also going to go have dinner across the water here at Disney Saratoga Springs later on tonight. We're going to be going to the Turf Club, which is a sit-down restaurant inside the resort. I haven't been there in years, and they have a new menu, and I'm excited to show you, but that's going to be later on in the video. Today is Father's Day, so happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there, even the dog dads, including myself, and uh, I'm excited to show you guys uh, Turf Club. I haven't been there in years, like I said, it's got a new menu, and it feels good going to a place that you don't visit that much, you know what I mean? It's definitely something tucked away, and uh, it's going to be a cool experience. Our first stop of the day is going to be here at Gideon's Bakehouse and we're going to get the cookie of the month and it's the sea turtle cookie. Look at that, I'm so excited. And this artwork is one of my favorite artworks ever. I think it's so cool. Our tribute to the popular candy from 1918. The sea turtle cookie nurtures you with premium chocolate, homemade caramel and a whole candied pecan sprinkled with our signature sea salt. Very fancy. Well, we definitely lucked out today. There was no virtual queue and there was no standby wait. I literally just walked in the line and walked straight in and got my cookie. And I got the sea turtle cookie, obviously. I love the artwork. But I also got the rainbow crunch cake slice, which they are serving up for Pride Month here, along with a lot of other Pride snacks that we'll try later on. And I also got the salted caramel cold brew, which is actually coming off the menu this month. So it was the last chance. And now I'll show you all the goods. Wow, take a look at the sea turtle cookie. This is impressive. Look at the size of the pecans on there. And there's so many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I see like eight gigantic pecans already. And it's so hot out, it's already melting. But this is going to be a high ranking cookie, I can tell you that. And then over here is the rainbow crunch cake. Look at this. Oh, we got my little fork there. This is a pretty cake, I tell ya. I'm gonna try to keep it intact, but it's so hard with this paper. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, 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 oh. I am so excited to dive into both of these. Like I mentioned, it is super hot out, so I'm gonna try not making a mess here, even though all of the chocolate on the cookie is running already. Like it's melting, like running, but it's melting. And uh, let me show you guys, we're gonna break the cookie in half. Look at this. Let me see if I can get it. Oh, I've gotta be careful with touching stuff. There we go, all right, here we go. A melty, a, mel uh, a melty cookie right here. Look at that. Oh, oh my lord. It's gonna fall. Okay, we gotta go in for the bite then. We gotta go in. This cookie is so good, guys. Holy moly. The pecans are phenomenal. You can actually just pluck them off there, I think. Look at that. Oh, I love it. It is just the perfect balance. You can definitely taste a little sweet and then that saltiness in there. And wow, I would, I don't know. I, I think I would still stick to my chocolate, uh, the banana, but they, the banana cookie is my favorite. But this, I think it's a close second. This is the close second now. The pecans are so good on this. I can't stop picking them off and just eating those alone. I love them. <laughs> 
I may have made a big mistake. I was trying to take the cake slice out to show you guys, but uh, it's kind of falling apart and it's it's really difficult not to get icing all over you especially because there's so much icing there so we're just gonna let it stand for a second but the icing is really cool because it goes alongside the wrapper here so when you open this up look at all that icing in there yeah okay this is gonna this is gonna fall over we need to abort mission abort mission <laughs> everything is melting so quickly i was trying to show you the cake slice it is so pretty but now we got to eat it before it just literally melts away and i'm gonna grab a little bit of the cake i like to get it from the side there oh yeah everything look at that all the different colors in one bite oh it is so amazing. I love the cake flavor. The icing is phenomenal. And it's the perfect ratio, I feel like, for cake and icing because the way that they have it, like the top here is cake, then icing, then cake, then icing, and then cake at the bottom there. Even my iced coffee has completely melted. Look at this. All the ice is gone. Well, there's a little ice in there, but it's all melty and I didn't get to enjoy it. Oh, still tastes good though. Still tastes, still tastes good. Just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of watery, a little watered down, you know. Between that cake slice, the coffee, and the cookie, I've got a lot going on here. I've got a lot going on, and it's all melting very quickly. And I've got chocolate and caramel and icing all over my camera. So I'm gonna have to go wash my hands. We're gonna have to pack this up and go wash our hands. I kept on looking to see if I accidentally dropped any of the icing on my new Roosevelt shirt, but you really couldn't tell if I did anyways. But look at this shirt. Isn't it awesome? Look at all the cool Pixar characters on there. I think it's so cool. You got Monsters Inc. right there, The Incredibles. Very fancy. Well, enough of the cookie business. I made my way over to Aaron McKinnon's bakery and this place actually has some new items I wanted to show you guys. And the special thing about this bakery is it's always vegan, always gluten free and always delicious. And it's kind of shocking because some of the items, it's like you can never tell that it's actually vegan. It's so good here. Look at all of these delicious treats and they're actually doing two for six dollars on the pride donuts right there So I'm kind of excited And here is what I ended up getting from the bakery I got the pride donuts right here and then I also got the pride bar And I, the only reason I got two donuts is because they were two for six and they were like five dollars and like 30 cents for one so I might as well got the second one and yeah like I said these are all vegan all gluten free so I'm gonna dive in and let you guys know what I think I'm especially excited for the donuts because they look really good all right here we go with our donuts look at this the icing's falling off but I'm excited to try it I think there's jelly on the inside too I think there I think it's a jelly donut so here we go the donuts themselves taste just like a just plain donut with kind of vanilla icing there. But now I want to try the bar here. And the icing's melting on the bar too. And it looks like you get a little sugar cookie on top. Look at that. This is a lot of food here. I shouldn't have gotten that extra donut. But I mean, you can't pass it up. It's like an extra like 40 cents. Here we go with the tasting of the bar. It didn't say anything like special for a flavor. It just said the pride bar. So I don't know what I don't know what flavor it is, but we'll find out. I still don't know what flavor it is. I got, I can't tell what flavor it is. I don't know what the uh, the flavor is. It kind of tastes like oatmeal to me, but I like it. It is very delicious. All of it is so good, but I definitely don't think I can eat all this. I feel like I need to take a little doggy bag home with me. Take this home with me. In fact, oh, speaking of doggies, I gotta get Gracie her pup cakes. I gotta get her little pup cakes. There's no way I could forget about my Gracie girl. So we made our way over to Sprinkles to get her her cupcakes and also see if they have any special cupcakes. But I'm not going to be buying any more. I've already got a bag full of goodies and uh, I don't need any more. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like they actually have a pride sprinkle cake right there. Well, a pride sprinkle cupcake. But like I said, I can't, can't be doing that. We gotta get down to the cupcakes. Where are they at? They gotta be somewhere here. Where are you? 
Maybe down at the very bottom. Oh, oh, oh. The pup pack. The pup pack for $9.50. I'll take it. Payment successful. Your name will be called when your order is ready. You see the name I put in there is Gracie. Oh wow, that, that pride cupcake has a lot of sprinkles in it. Look at that, it's all in the center there. The pup cakes have been obtained. Look at those precious little beauties. Gracie's gonna love them. Now that we got Gracie her little pup cups, uh, it's time to make our way over to Saratoga Springs so we can get ready for dinner at the Turf Club. And we have made our way to the other side of the water. We are over at Saratoga Springs. You just literally walk straight around and you come right over here. And look at this view of Disney Springs from this side. This is so amazing. Holy moly. What a perspective. This is so cool. Wow. Look at the boat right there. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. I'm sorry, it's probably a little windy, but that is beautiful. Now, once you do get over here to get to uh, the turf club, it is a pretty far like walk because it's in the, the main lobby and Saratoga Springs is a huge uh, resort in itself. But uh, yeah, it's beautiful. The views are amazing. And it's especially on a nice day like today. It's a nice little brisk walk through a little garden, it seems like. Seriously, this is a beautiful resort and the walk through here is just amazing. Look at this. This is a quiet pool that they have here. They put all of this in for a quiet pool. I love that. The main pool is over here. I'm sure we'll be checking it out. And in case you do get lost, they do have signs everywhere that just says like Disney Springs this way, resort this way. So it's really easy to navigate. Another really cool thing to point out, the Turf Club is actually over by Lake Buena Vista Golf Course, the Disney, the LBV course here at Disney, and it's connected to Saratoga. So I can show you a little bit of the golfing as we make our way into the restaurant. It's like it's almost the same building. Here is the course right here, and it's so pretty. You can see they've got a little Mickey sand pit on the hill there, and it's very nice. If you're a golfer, this is a good spot. I don't golf that much, but I have played here before, and uh, it's, it's fun, you know? I think it's really nice. And also, here is the docking station for the boats from Disney Springs, um, and also the resorts, but I feel like the walk was way better. I mean, we're already here, and it was just such a nice, pretty little walk. And here it is. This place is definitely a sleeper with the prime location. I think the last time I ate here, I ate in the dining room, but it looks like they have dining outside that overlooks this beautiful sunset right here. And if we can make that happen, that would be, that would be amazing. And uh, also uh, right there is uh, Disney's uh, Lake Buena Vista. That's the golf uh, store, they had the golf clubhouse. So I wonder if we can go in there. Before we head upstairs to dinner, I wanted to show you on the inside of uh, the golf club here. It's actually really nice. I didn't know if it was open or not, but it is open. And it's cool because it's giving me old Disney Resort vibes. Oh yeah, you can even, you can smell the, like, you know. Oh. And, uh, reading, uh, reading the pamphlet. <laughs> yeah, oh, Sean's here, by the way. Yeah, and then look at, nice some photos on the walls. Isn't that so nice? Oh, the store's down at the end here. And this is a little lounge right here. Wow, this place is so cool. I love all the old school pictures of Mickey, and it's really amazing in here. This is the lounge that I was talking about, a little lounge area that they have set up. But look at all these. I keep on looking at everything. One of these, oh yeah, this one over here is one of the coolest photos. Look at this, look at Goofy. That is amazing. I love that so much. All of these are so cool. This is such a nice place. Well, that was cool to actually show you guys that little, like, area there. The last time I was here, I remember I only came just to the shop itself, but I never explored back there, and it was awesome. I loved all those photos hanging on the walls, and it was really cool. And now I think it's time we're going to head upstairs and uh, get ready for our reservation. This is really such an awesome place to come and sit. Look at this. Wow. What a view. This is... 
uh, a, a beautiful spot. Like I said, I think definitely a little secret. We are all checked in and this restaurant is so awesome. Look at it in here. They have a little lounge out front and it's got TVs, a pool table. And you can just kind of hang out and chill out. This is probably one of the most relaxing waiting areas probably for any of the restaurants. Well, no, Ohana is pretty awesome. But this has come probably a close second. Here is a look at the menu, and they have some good appetizers on here. You got like a French onion soup, you've got chopped salad and a charcuterie for two, and then the entrees are looking pretty good. You got some prime rib right there, 10 ounces. That seems like a little baby cut though, but it is only $38, so that's not too bad. And then they've got a grilled pork chop, a grilled filet, crispy boneless chicken doesn't look that bad nothing really expensive even the filet is $38 where normally you would you know find a filet like 50 60 on Disney property so huh I'm kind of excited I'm also interested in this uh, braised lamb pappardelle that sounds really cool we have made it to our table and it is the perfect spot. I can't wait to see the sunset. We're looking over the golf course, order some foods and some drinks. They actually have a mint julep on the menu too with a little bourbon in it. So I might actually get that and just uh, relax. Nice little evening. Isn't this so cozy though? I really do love it here. I mean, it's just a nice outdoor dining area. And of course, my friends will be joining up with me. I think they just got here, but uh, yeah, it's nice. Holy moly, the rolls came to the table and this looks like a good bread service. They said there's Parmesan cheese on them and then sea salt on the butter, but that looks really, really good. I wasn't expecting that. And I got the mint julep right here, which is so cold, I can feel it. Holy moly, the way they put that in that tin like that, right? I was checking the, the, the sturdiness of the, the tin. <laughs> I thought it was gonna make that cool like tin sound. But yeah, look at that, icy deliciousness. I feel like this mint julep is gonna be so refreshing. Mm, it's very strong and refreshing. Give <laughs> it a roll. I'm grabbing a roll. I'm grabbing a roll. Oh, we're grabbing a roll. What's going on? We're grabbing a roll. Ah! These little rolls look so cute. Look at this. I, I honestly, I, I don't think I, I don't think I've ever had these before. These dinner rolls remind me of Crazy Bread at Little Caesars. I don't know why. It's got a unique taste to it. Yeah, maybe it's the Parmesan on top, but the bread itself, like, uh, I don't know, it's something good. I like it. How do you like this cheese? You don't like other cheese. I'm a very picky guy. Uh, oh, yeah, this tastes like this is Italian sauce. Yeah, right? Yeah, this is like, it's actually a really good I have no idea what this is. I love it, though. I think it's, it's really good. good. It's just way different from anything Disney has ever had. Yeah, that's why I'm kind of shocked. Like, you normally, you really don't get, like, bread service like that here. I ended up getting the Frito Misto as my appetizer, and that comes with shrimp and broccolini and a bunch of different other stuff, also green beans, uh, and also went with the burger, the uh, turf burger. A lot of people have recommended it, and I was like, okay, I gotta try it. They serve it at the lounge, and they also serve it in the restaurant, so that's good to know in case you wanna come get it in the restaurant and the lounge is closed. <laughs> Kristen ended up getting the most unique looking French onion soup I think I've ever seen. Look at that. I'm kind of sad I didn't get that. Really? I think it honestly looks like the worst French onion soup I've ever seen. I well, good. I think that's a big chunk of cheese right there. Yeah, that's bread with cheese on top. The whole really? Thing should, the whole like thing that. should be covered in bread and cheese. And yeah. it should have Maybe they don't have outside. a crock. Maybe they don't have a soup crock so they put crocs. it in the soup bowl. That's probably what happened. I get turned off by the French onion soup because I hate how it's like, it looks like it's just like a, a melty on the crock. Yeah. So do you like it that it's neat like that? I think that looks better that way. Huh, oh, a tail between two different people. Oh. And here's our mistro. Look at this, green beans. Oh, here is our misto, mistro. Here's our misto, mistro. We got broccolini, we've got shrimp, we've got green beans. You got a little bit of everything in there. I'm gonna share that and muscles at the table. You know, this is looking pretty good. <laughs> I'm going in on the Frito here. Look at the size of that shrimp. Holy moly. What is, that? What is this? Frito Mistro. The Frito Mistro. The, the Frito Dorito. The Frito. <laughs> 
there has been an abundance of helicopters flying around the golf course and it reminded me of that scene in casino where the fbi had to land on the golf course because they were like surveilling uh robert de niro and then run past them it just kind of reminded me of that but it is so pretty out these dinner rolls have been so amazing. Everyone's love it. This is our second order. Third. Third? Third order. I mean, I'm all about it. Oh, and my ginger ale. Oh yeah, go ahead, yeah. <laughs> all right, the main event has arrived. I ended up getting the prime rib and the burger combo because I just needed to know. I needed to know about the burger. There were so many people that have suggested it to me. So I said, I'm gonna order it. I'm not gonna eat all of it. I'll take it home. But the prime rib is looking pretty good. I was afraid that uh, it wasn't gonna come out to temp, but it looks like it's perfect. And look at the vegetables, look at this. Carrots, broccolini, potatoes, a little bit of au jus. I feel like I need a bigger piece of au jus. I need something bigger to dip that in there. But yeah, it looks all amazing. Kristen ended up getting the uh, pappardelle. Yep. The, the pappardelle. The lamb pasta. It looks good. It looks yes. definitely noodly. And everything over here. Oh, oh so, uh, Sean ended up getting the burger, and Ryan got the chicken. The chicken. It looks good. It looks good. Oh. I'm gonna try the burger first. We're gonna give the burger a go. Lots of bacon on there. Lots of crispy onions and tomato jam. I hope it doesn't. I don't want to make a mess, but I'm going for it. <laughs> I don't like smash burgers, and a lot of people will say Steakhouse 71 is a better burger, but this is so good. I really do like it a lot. I like the tomato jam and the crispy onions, and the burger is seasoned really nice. It's good. It's worth the hype. I really do like the burger, but now it's time to try the prime rib. I don't see any char on the outside of the prime rib, though, so that's why I'm like, oh, no. I do love a little bit of char, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to cut off a piece, let it soak for a little bit and give it a go here we go i let it sit in the au jus for a little bit i like it to soak up the extra juice and give it some more flavor the au jus is really good wow it's actually a really good prime rib i didn't think 10 ounces was going to be like a big portion but it's so much bigger in person i love it i'm getting all that au jus in there it's tough because I feel like the burger is so good. I don't know if I would want to come here and get this or the burger every time I come because I just love that burger so much. Well, having to do with traveling and well you can't see the fireworks, but I can hear them just yonder over there. Oh, and they stopped. But I could hear the fireworks. They were happening, and it's completely dark out. It's a, a nice night here. All finished up on the course. Look at it out there. It's actually it's, it's completely dark. And with that, I think we are done here today at the Turf Club. I liked my experience a lot, hanging out on the golf course and eating some good food. The prime rib was fantastic. Everyone got to try it. Uh, the dinner rolls were a hit and my burger was phenomenal. Like I said, I think I could say that burger was better than Steakhouse 71, but that's because I don't like smash burgers. I don't like smash burgers. That one was flame grilled on a broiler, which is the best way to go. And uh, Disney Springs was fun. We got to try a lot of snacks and got Gracie pupcakes and now we're actually gonna head home. We're gonna see little Gracie girl and give her a little pupcake. Just outside the turf club they uh, have a little ashtray here and look at they put a hidden Mickey in it. That's such a strange thing. I've never seen that before like on property. Oh it says Walt Disney World Golf but that's kind of cool. This was Walt's ashtray. It could be Walt's ashtray. We don't know. Yeah. Hello, I'm inquiring to see if there's a Dalmatian named Gracie home. Hello, what are you doing? What are you doing? You wanna go for a walk? Yeah, all right, come on, let's go for a walk. Does Princess Gracie want a pupcake? Huh, you want this? Huh? Yes, okay. Come here, you can have it. There you go. Yep. You always do the same thing with these. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, you like the pet more than the pup cake? You like the pet more than the pup cake? Oh, look at that smile. 
And with that, we are done here today. Very exciting day. Had so much fun hanging out at Disney Springs. And then of course, going over to the Turf Club, meeting up with some friends. And I'm happy to be back home with Gracie. I missed her so much. And now that I'm back home, I'm gonna be putting out a lot more videos locally. No big plans to travel anywhere until July. Um, so uh, it's gonna be nice to be home for a little bit. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.